everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Napoleon Eras mod. We are back in Sardinia and with greater numbers. Uh, the army is at full strength, and now we're bringing up reinforcements. We've got four units here, and we've got an additional six units coming up behind. And it looks like the Sardinians... By the time I'm ready to attack, we'll have um, them, they will be in full strength as well. However, at this point, I've got my spy within the town. And I'm pretty sure they no longer have any troops up in the woods. Uh, they've all either perished during the winter or uh, have relocated to the town to make one final defense. So it looks like we could be able to capture this. And then go on to capture this. We'll be able to capture two areas in the same episode. With that said, we're also probably going to lose the territory. Because the Mecklenburg force has landed. And they landed in Spain. I thought Pamplona would fall to the British. As they landed their force over here. But instead it's Mecklenburg. The lands its force. I'm thinking here, it might, hopefully, we've got one turn left for the dry dock. Once that is done, should speed up the uh, build up of a navy. Maybe not to rival the British, but I could certainly chase away a few stupid Germans. And then also, we got Roan Hill. With his remnant force, he's now laying seeds to Madrid. Queen? I am. Um, um, that's actually blocking Davu from continuing on because the road goes through Madrid. So we'll bring down Gulshi, we'll strike, we'll destroy the British, and then Davu is free to head into town and then on to the other side and then head on to the Italian campaign. I'm thinking I'm going to keep Gurshi in Spain for a little while until I'm able to put him on a navy and then land him on the Balearic Islands and take out the Spanish once and for all so that I don't have to worry about the Spanish turning uh, against me with all their ships so I would be able to get rid of all of them and not really worry about that. Uh, I think the, the bulk of the Spanish Navy is probably here. Or if it was, as it seems, up here. With Ignacio de Alba. If that's how you pronounce it. Um, kind of a large, kind of larger ships. 106 guns. We don't have anything close to that. Closest we have is one single ship. Um, which has um, 74 guns. But with that said, let's go ahead and start where we know we can actually move, which is here, and then we'll go ahead and enter and see as the, um, the Mecklenburgers go ahead and take a part of ours, and then we'll be able to destroy part of the Sardinians. Of course, um, they are the Sardinians, so they hold the island of Sardinia, so we shouldn't assume that they get completely annihilated by taking out their holdings on the Italian mainland. I'm feeling as though this is probably an outer resolve. And I th it seems that the British agree as they decide to retreat immediately. Davu will follow up and assimilate the British with the ground. There's 600 men against 3,000. They don't stand a chance. They're gone. Still managed to take 500 Frenchmen with them. So we actually lost more than what they did. I'm hoping though that there's... Uh, None of them left, which um, I guess it was too much for me to ask for, since they're still there. But 
uh, the Wu will be able to carry out an additional attack on this single unit. Which is the cheese! Is it the cheese? Yes, it is the cheese! Malk Chilton also. Isn't there a cheese almost called Chilton? Malcolm Chilton. Or, no, what's it called? Stilton! He spells it wrong. God damn it. The Mal Imagine if it was Malcolm Stilton of the cheese, the first cheese. Right. Here's some cheese for you. Sick. Wait. Okay, so. Right. I don't know what kind of screw up this was, but. There's 16 cheese mongers. Heavy cavalry. Managed to take out 376 of our men. How does that even work? And <laughs> apparently each regiment got a turn at stabbing the horsemen. It spread out to everyone. And then units lost. Good God. Alright. That's how it is sometimes. We're gonna forget about that and carry on. Uh, so Davu will be her heading to Italy. Gushi will be heading to uh, deal with the enemy up here first. Uh, we got a few troops. Actually, I could send out to make it a little bit easier for Davu. I could merge two grenadiers and then pick up one of these grenadiers, actually. He'll be in um, fighting order in no time. And then we can do the same with that Fusilier. That's a lot of experience on that unit though. He's going to lose it anyway so as uh, this is going to bring in so many men into that. But yeah. And we bring in... Well, let's bring in the most experienced infantry there. Right, so it's going to go... The replenishment of his army is going to go a little bit quicker. As he heads off over here. Also, I have a little bit of money. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm already... Huh. I've already done that. Already prepared. I was thinking uh, he needs some uh, bigger guns. Or actually, no. He has 8 and 6 pounder. It is... Um, what's he called? Sul. That needs uh, greater guns. And an extension later on. Uh, Gouchi needs... Um, bigger guns as well. Or if I re just remove one of the four pounders and bring in some cavalry instead. Right, but there's no more moves here. There's no more moves anywhere. Or the militia. Which is also heading here. I wonder maybe the militia should take up the post in protecting Madrid instead. Um, most of these areas will not have extra manpower to protect it, but I think Madrid could be uh, an area of importance that we might want to protect. And seeing as though I've actually got extra troops to hold on to the town after I take it, it might be better for the militia army to go here again. They've been giving orders to go everywhere, but I have never settled, never finally settled on an area until now. So they'll enjoy their time in Madrid. And with that, it's time for us to end turn. I mean, there's no chance, no chance in hell that my garrison will hold. Um, but we get the chance to take a look at what the Germans bring. So they bring tons of these uh, light troops, tons of voltageers, and then a couple of different types of grenadiers. Some fusiliers, two 12 pounders, and a 7 pounder howitzer, um, two units of light cavalry as well. Should be a fairly decent fight against these guys once we reach them. Emmanuel Bengal. Area lost, region lost. Um, Right, we'll go ahead and deal with those. What else? Path blocked for Grouchy. Davu. Start off. Let's go ahead and ease his way to 
get as much movement points out of that is to go through town. Port blocked, Toulon, by the Sardinians. Buildings, the dry dock, very good. I can actually build up to the steam dock as well. But now we can build 80 gun ships as the biggest. So I can get such ships going. So we'll be building that. Intellectual advance. Depending on how big the navy is. I'm guessing this is the point where we might name a few ships. After members. Uh, anyways. Uh, local theaters. That's good. Happiness. Army destroyed. That's of course the army that was stuck here. And Sillery gained. Dusty librarian. Right. So we've gone through all of that. Goshi, of course, heading up there. Davu, heading over here. The militias, hiding behind a rock, thought that I didn't see them. But I saw you, you scallywag. Um, once they reach down here, uh, the troops that are stationed here will be moved as well. Another one of our cross-dressers. A agent. I want you to just research. Are you not allowed to research? Uh, you have to duel someone first? 50 chance for everyone. Um, well, that guy only has 3 stars. So, we'll imagine he is pretty... Uh, pretty bad at dueling, hopefully. And... Oh, it is. A, I thought it was one of the the one where he shoots himself in the face. Alright, our guy won though, so that's good. And he gets to. Is that how it works? Maybe in Spain, you can't attend higher education unless you uh, duel someone. Um. Right. So that's done. Now we're gonna go ahead. And go ahead and see our... I am intercepted. I am intercepted. Not ambushed. I sh... Oh, I didn't... I do not get to bring up my troops when I get intercepted. It's a river battle for sure. So we'll have to cross that bloody river once more. Unsupported. By any reinforcements. The enemy gets a thousand many reinforcements. Uh, this time though, I think we learned from the last time, so uh, we'll be able to cross this river in no time. It turns out this battle is not at all a river crossing, instead we're fighting with a big town right in the middle. Uh, we've got an interesting ruin in the center there that I would like to take control of. I've sent my Hussars and the Heavy Cavalry on a white flank on the left. We've got both our batteries situated right here, which are already destroying the horse-drawn six-pounder on that side. Uh, the lights are leading the advance across the field, followed by four Fusiliers, followed by an additional two Fusiliers. They, uh, are they going for my guns? My hussars are called out. They are shot up by artillery. And... I guess we'll just, uh... Slowly give them a nudge to walk into the canister range. Uh, they are done for. The cavalry will retire. There's no longer a need for them to be in that direction. Uh, lots of cavalry on this side. I want to see if I can get my dragoons around and hit the enemy's artillery. Uh, right now there's not that many troops in the town. Um, so it might be better for my lights to, uh, you know what, I'm gonna put lights like this and then we're gonna see about getting these two up to the woods and then the line infantry will make it something like this 
And then for the town, I guess I'll send three units in. And then we'll have a reserve going up behind the lights. And then we have these two coming up as reserves behind there. Oh, what's this? Enemy hussars. Making an attack run. I'm bringing in the hussars and the heavy cavalry. To make sure that we do some damage on those. We'll uh, deploy as soon as possible here as the enemy is surging forward. Order them to uh, get to the positions as soon as possible. Um, I, they didn't want to fight, and I don't want to uh, run my cavalry into that just yet. So we'll retire, and the uh, enemy cavalry ran in between cannon fire and musket fire. Right, the lights have set up here. Should hopefully get quite a bit of coverage from the wood and just as I say that we've got massive amounts of cavalry coming in to attack those units the lights and the line are now dealing with the enemy but that's a lot of cavalry going after the smaller light units and there's three cavalry units coming in, which is not going to be great, so I'm going to order the reserve unit here in the back to open fire. It's not going to be good for the morale of those units, which we can see this one is already breaking. I'm going to order another unit out there, and then slowly the other two is going to make it into the village. Alright, they make another damned attempt at charging us. Oh, the other unit is about to break as well. You know what? Form square? Oh yeah, they just overrun the lights. Completely overrun them. General is here though to support. You know what? Firing through the square is not the smartest option here. Um, fire towards the enemy guns instead. The good thing about this though is, did any of the lights make it out? 30 of them made it out. And here 80, so then they might rally, but these guys definitely don't. There's 20 of them that made it out. I'll move the general closer to support. Let's see what we got. Hussars should be... Damn, I should have ordered these guys forward earlier. Let's see, Halls Marines, if you can kind of squeeze your way through the buildings. And Line Infantry kind of come through here. Looks like their cavalry was broken. Let's have put two units right next to each other like that. Drop the square, make line like that. All the voltageers and infantry focusing in a lot of effort right here. The lights have rallied. Order them back into the fight. Hall's Marines need to run. Because the enemy started to return fire. It's a massive attempt to overrun us here. I'm gonna go ahead and inspire that Fusilier. At this point, I think. Oh, that's the enemy general. At this point, it's time to order in the cavalry. Let's see, Holds Marine taking forever. Uh, that was one of the big problems, issues I thought I would have in Among the Houses. The time it would take for. Uh, God damn it. I just screwed myself over by ordering them to uh, reform again. 
Right. Go for the exposed units here. And then um, the entire line will advance. Paul's damn. Paul has already lost over 80 men. Bloody Sardinians, huh? Looks like some of their cavalry is rallying. Actually, Hussars continue that way. Right, the entire line is ordered forward. The lights are ordered forward. Continue to chase those guys down. With the aid of the general and the fusilier of the line, they were able to do it, but it was a damned hard fight. Damn these uh, grenadiers. They don't want to give up. Uh, Hazard's going through. Hold fire. Right, I think we have uh, seen enough of that. Let's see about getting the lights into the house and then preparing line along that axis. Finally, these guys were broken. I want three units that way. Hazards go through, go through. Um, oh, they, they're leaving the guns open now. Dragoons go in. Hazards chase after them there. Alright, everyone's moving forward. Let's extend these here. With the heavy cavalry setting up that way. General joining in. Light battalion can actually join, probably fits in that house as well. Let's speed this up a bit so you can go ahead and kill those. Oh, the Hussars. did not fare well against the enemy cavalry but in exchange I took out their uh, 12 pounder let's see about the dragoons following after here the hussars probably gonna have time to make it off the field but um, I lost a lot of good men there this general a death wish will uh, oblige him ordering these troops into the ruin. Um, Holt's marines are close enough actually to charge those. You can go after that instead. Dragoons will continue to go after that. Let's see here. We do have a wall stretching along this route. So we can get our troops out in a pretty good defensive line along that. Why? Oh, I forgot to order this guy to fire at will, I guess. Time to order the artillery to fire at will again. Oh, he joined that, the troops over there instead. Smaller unit, oh, it doesn't fit, or it does, oh, I've already ordered them in. So they are already taking position now. Um, cavalry chasing down, keep chasing down these. You guys keep chasing those. Oh, the cannons took them out instead. Right, three fusiliers along the line like that. Let's make sure now that everyone's set to fire at will. So we're not making any more of those mistakes. 
Heavy cavalry hiding the woods over there. Dragoons move to the field there. Keep chasing those. Holds Marines have finally done done in that unit, so that's not coming back. He's going to be joining the line over there. That unit's done. Hassan should start making it way this. Right, so we're firing from the monument. The um, enemy is going straight for the line. The general will inspire the unit. Make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Move to reserve position. A glorious victory, sir. Soon to be yours. Let's make sure that we're not tar uh, unnecessarily targeted by the enemy. Reorganize a little bit in the ruin. So we'll put down maximum amount of fire on the enemy. Um, unusually quick battle, but then again, the enemy was very quick to uh, go on a on the offensive against us. A fresh and encouraged. Let's set them up for a charge. Same with the dragoons on that side. Continuous fire through the line. All looks very nice. Let's have the artillery focus in on the militia. I'm sure the militia will route in seconds once uh, heavy cannonballs start ripping up the line. Uh, we do have, as you can see, quite heavy losses on our side as well. Even though it... Um, has gone fairly well for us in this battle. I don't know what's in the wine that the Sardinians are drinking, but there's something for sure. Let's actually aim for this one. It's furthest away. These do not fire, so let's move out to aid that. To aid this Fusilier. They've rallied. Bit more fire here. And the Dragoons. Getting a more favorable angle of charge. And we should be able to crush them. And now the heavy cavalry is set up back here. I think these guys are selecting to fire at the wrong unit. They should be firing straight forward. Right, these guys were routed again. This one is down to 180. Let's focus the artillery on this one a little bit. Ooh, some really good shots. I right, we've uh, we've got these two. Dragoons will be ordered in. This one's about to give way, leaving this. So the heavy cavalry will be ordered to start its approach. Dragoons go for the targets. Let's speed up the heavy cavalry. As they make it out onto the field. Then the order to charge comes in. And we'll hold until the very last moment to hold fire for the cannons. And with that, the entire army is ordered forward. And victory was achieved. The Sardinians may be tough, but in the end... 
France stands victorious. Victory. The Sardinians are definitely a hard nut to crack, as we can see from the result here. Now, I was able to destroy their army, where they deployed 3,200, or 300, close to, um, losing 2,800, leaving about 500 of them left after the battle. Um, we lost about a third of our force, 1,000 or 1,100 men lost out of 3,300. Still though, the enemy remains at 500 and we remain at 2200. Plus, I of course have 10 Fusilier battalions coming in in support. So that's plenty enough troops to end them rightly. But the if anyone has killed a lot of French people, it's the Sardinians. And surprisingly... A lot more battles against these guys than we did against any of the other nations I, so far. Um, with perhaps the Portuguese also putting up quite stiff resistance. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a look at who killed what. The interesting in terms of the only named one is of course the one um, non-paying member Hall's Marines, which end up at 229. I think a lot of that is, though, slaughtering troops in the retreats. Um, but they kind of deserved it because they took a lot of damage and still held on to the field. Um, losing 86 men, which is probably one of the top losses. Yeah. Um, 
Some of the chasseurs. I'm surprised they still have some of the chasseurs. Let's go ahead and take a look. One is down to 19 men. Not a lot. But we then hold on to the territory and uh, or hold on to the territory. We hold on to the ground. We are not forced away. And we are now... Imagine if I was still ambushed moving forward there. That would have pissed me off. Alright, we're gonna bring in the reserve troops. So we bring in the full 10 battalions extra. Um, given, I mean, they do have 1400 men, but of those 1400 men, We've got one, two, three, four, five times two. That's a thousand men. That's a thousand militia men. There's 400 regular troops left. There's like one six pounder horse drawn artillery, one 12 pounder, and say maybe two howitzers against this. This is a clear outer assault, I'd say, even though I'm probably at risk of. Uh, Having some units completely destroyed. They inflicted 600 casualty on us in the end here. Oh, uh, close to 700. Not that interesting to see who killed what, but there we go. Somehow the Marines got, a, again, got hit really hard. Only 39 of them remaining. But we hold the territory. Wait, hold it. I'm gonna move the general out to the reinforcement army so they get reinforcements. So everyone gets reinforced here. Um, or maybe, you know, maybe what I should do, these guys do reach this. Um, I'll bring the general with me. We do reach that area, and these guys can sit here, and then the general can do this. Actually, before I go ahead and just quickly take a look, right? And this is clear out to resolve the first fight against the Austrians. It's a bunch of militia. Boom. Um, still lost 251, but we slaughtered the uh, defenders. And we just claimed Northern Milan. We're going to go ahead and repair everything. Wonderful. We're going to have to sit here for a while. Oh, what troops can I get here? Uh, veterans? or No, Velites, I mean. Velites of Florence? Of Turin? Of Midin? Never heard of that. Italian town. Uh, Piedmont's Legion was renamed. Piedmontese religion. Or oh, religion. Region. No. <laughs> Legion. There we go. I'm tired, it seems. Trilliers of the River Po. I believe it's the P there's a river called Po, right? The Po River. 111th Regiment. Pi Piedmontese. Why is there so many Piedmontese troops? I mean, I guess these are remnants because of uh, Napoleon's campaign in Italy. So there are like there's a lot, there's a lot of regiments, you know, special regiments from this time period, or not fr like from this region, uh, compared to others, the following throughout. And then we get cavalry here, guard cavalry, and more of the Velite, powerful built men, elite soldiers. We can build an entire Italian army if it continues this way. And uh, with that, we also get an idea of what Murat has been doing. Um, and he has, in fact, been moving against the Austrians. And they have been fighting in this region. He's probably been looting this region, though. Although there's no... Um, marks of it just now, but I'm sure he has. Um, let's go ahead and bring the spy up. Let's go ahead and repair this. And continue here. 
I've done a lot of very long episodes, so while I definitely want to finish the bloody Peninsula campaign once and for all, um, and kick out the bloody German Mecklenburg. It's old, very medieval sounding old remnant of uh, different scrappy nations, scrappy um, principalities and whatever all around. Probably a Hanseatic city though, I imagine. More so. Um, rambling on here, quite tired from uh, work, I guess. There isn't really much to be done. I feel like I've been doing a lot of... Lo I've already said this, but... Um, continuing on the thought that I previously had is that I've done a lot of very long episodes. Heavy uh, to edit all those post-battle screens. So I think we'll go ahead and end it right here. For the next one, though, I should have set it up so we will attack and kick out the Mecklenburgians. I will also hopefully have set up so we can have either a fight going on uh, towards Innsbruck and the fort there, or up towards the Hanoverians and then hitting Mecklenburg and its home region. Bastards. And that's what to be looked forward to. Hopefully also I'll be able to move on Venice before Murat moves there. Currently, I wonder if he's one of those generals that reappear constantly. It would be... I kind of feel like the AI would probably squander him right or right at the start. Um, and also, yes, not to forget, um, trying then to get Grouchy onto the island and ending Spain once and for all. Um, and starting a navy. Uh, with that, I think I should have said everything. And so, as always, I will say, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.